TikTok is Aisha and today before we get into this video I want to wish everyone a happy new year and I hope that you all have had a great year and I'm looking forward to everything that 2020 has to bring I know that I am um, I want to thank you all as well for rocking with me this long and supporting me thus far I know we've been you know through all of the ups and downs um, with my random breaks throughout the year but I know that you have noticed I have been pretty consistent these past couple of months so yeah cheers for that <laughs> It's the last video of the year, obviously, because um, today is the 29th. We only have two more days until the new year. So I want everyone to let me know what your plans are for the new year. I don't really have any at the moment. Um, I don't know if you've seen a little meme. It's looking a real living room-ish right now, though, for my New Year's Eve into New Year's plans. But um, today, I wanted to show you all the last pair of shoes that I decided to cop before the year ended. And this was a, just a random pickup. Like, I'm just going be honest i got a tweet from it was either kicks finder or sneaker deals on um twitter and the tweet was basically like these are under retail and i was like what some off-white shoes under retail so um it wasn't a plan cop at all i just saw it and i said you know what I do like those shoes so for 135 which was the price that i paid for them um i would get into the retail price and all of it in just a few but um yeah and i was excited to get them i'm definitely gonna be rocking them for my birthday because you all know capricorn season is here um i'm a january 12th birthday baby so without further ado let's get into this purchase so so these were shipped from italy yes italy and um dhl shipped them the company that i bought them from was and i'm gonna butcher this name but just just hear me out it's luis luisa via roma and i'm y'all probably like girl you can't even pronounce where you bought your shoes from it don't matter because i got them for under retail and free shipping so that's all that matters but this is the name of it gonna move this back and forth throughout the camera and it's also going to probably be in my description box. But yeah. So if y'all know how to pronounce that. I mean I don't know how to. But it arrived in this like nice little black box here. Which I will be using for other items. But inside of the box is my off-white Nike box. Which is why you all are here. This is the Nike um, off-white box. And this is my first off-white purchase. So I am a bit stoked about it. Um, now I will say that this wasn't a shoe that I was like, oh my God, like I gotta have. But it was definitely an afterthought. Um, but this is the box right here. And it has these little holes it's in the box. I don't know if every off-white um, shoe came with this exact same box. But I thought that was really neat. And you can also see the yellow tissue paper that has off-white on it throughout the box and these are the waffle racer off-white shoes i got them in the white black electric green color and then and i did get this in a size eight in women so that's the details of that when you open the box you just see the yellow tissue paper on top here and that's all that's just dope in itself to me so this is how the shoe looks and i know a lot of you are gonna be like girl why did you buy this shoe <laughs> because when I first saw the shoe come out I'm not gonna even lie I'm like those look like cleats and I mean essentially they do look like cleats the bottom of it it all has like that cleat I mean it all has that cleat look to it so at first I was like this doesn't even fit my style this is nothing I'm going to wear but then I'm like you know what I can probably drip them like you know I can I can do a lot with this shoe so hold on it's this box it's playing with me right now okay but um so it is a cleat inspired shoe but this is not hard at all like you know how cleats are sharp on the bottom this is soft and um it's actually very comfortable i did try this shoe on and you know i never try shoes on but i just had to make sure that this was something that i wanted to keep because um the website i think you have i think you have 30 day 30 days to send the shoe back but i just wanted to make sure because holiday shipping and everything i wanted to if i didn't like them or if i didn't want to keep them i was going to send them right back to them but um yeah dhl shipped them so i was waiting they shipped to me i think last week last monday 
I'm just getting around to filming this because, of course, the holidays and everything, and of course, New Year's is coming. So I want to want to go ahead and get this out of the way so we can get into fresh new content for the new year. But um, get into the details of the shoe. The lacing of the shoe is pretty neat to me. It's kind of it kind of has like the the regular lacing underneath, but it has this little zip line um, situation that's gone in zigzags around the shoe so um each one has a little opening for it and this can be removed i have seen people remove this from the shoe but i'm going to keep mine because i like that little pop of neon there this is the little tag that the company had on there so i will be removing this hang tag because this is just be too much walking around with the shoe on so of course it has the usual off-white laces that has actual lace on it and i will undo that so you can see exactly what i'm talking about um it has shoelaces let me make sure i turn this around so you all can see it it has shoelaces on the shoe so basically everything is labeled on this side of the shoe it just has like the branding um it has off-white it has the name on the shoe the waffle racer it has beaverton oregon which is where nike um originated in and it has um, the year 2019 on it, which is the year this shoe was made. The tongue is extended from the shoe. So when you tie the shoe, it will be an extended tongue, like coming off of the how the shoe is cut right here. Um, it's basically wrapped in plastic. This material here is kind of like um, a weaved kind of plastic, but it is all wrapped. The, sh the whole shoe is wrapped around it but underneath of the plastic you can tell like nike check here and then you can also see like the little orange symbol here um i don't know if i mentioned but this is it has nike on the tongue here with the orange nike check and just has nike lettering in black right there um the inside of the shoe is pretty neat as well um it has the same color of the tissue paper the paper the yellow color it's the color of the insole so let me take out the tissue paper so you can see how the inside of the shoe looks and this is the left shoe um i already mentioned i will pull out the right shoe so you can see the other detailings on the right shoe this is the cool part of the shoe which i'm like i finally got me a little tag you know all off-white shoes if you're familiar with the brand they have the the little green tags here all of them have a tag so this will be staying on the shoe but this tag here that i was talking about it will be coming off of the shoe you have the white midsole here and you can see a little faint of pink and green that's right there i'm not sure if the camera is going to pick it up but it's just around the very edge of the sole of the shoe and like i said before this is also like a lace so it can be taken off but i'm going to more than likely keep mine in my shoe i saw a lot of people they got the most recent off-white dunk release they did remove um their zip line like tie lace off the shoe but i want to keep mine because i want to just keep it how it originally came and I honestly am very happy with my purchase. I'm going to just show you an all another shot of the shoe here. And give you a full 360 <laughs> look at it. But yeah, I'm very excited about this shoe. It's something very different for me. It's nothing that you would see the everyday person walking around with. Um, and yeah, I just think it's me stepping outside my box a little bit and out of my comfort zone. Because like I said before, when I originally saw this shoe, I was like... They are just doing too much with these off-white um, collabs, but I am super excited about wearing this shoe. I'm happy with my purchase, and you will be seeing me soon with these. So, yeah, always remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you next year. Thank you for watching.